I say amen. 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 And truly, it is a blessing to be found in God's house. Amen. We ask that, that God bless those who are uh, online, virtual, or and those who are in the building and uh, who are on their way, yes. trying to make their way to God's house. Yes. Amen. That God blesses them. Amen. amen. Deep, if you don't mind, could you please take us in prayer? Amen. All heads bow and all hearts are clear. Father God, once again, we thank you for allowing us to be in your presence. Father, we ask you to bless the ones that are here, and especially bless you for the ones that are on the way, and the ones that are out in Facebook land. Father, we love you. We praise you. We seek thy love and comfort, your tender love and care. Bless us as we go forward to read your word. Bless our pastor tonight. Let it be all of you and not on him. Be in him, Lord. Let him know that you are the one and true God. Let us know that you are the one and true God. There's no other like you. Bless the ones that sick and shed in, Lord. The ones in the hospital, the babies. Bless the Israel land, Jesus. We love you and we thank you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We're going to kind of uh, <clears throat> go into what we've already uh, studied in the uh, third chapter. More importantly, what Pastor Brain spoke on uh, during Bible study or midweek mm -hmm. on last week. Just to basically do a, uh, a refresher. And you know, if there was a, a, a sentence or a theme that that I would interject in regards to the to the lesson uh, last week would be, you know, uh, put on and pull off. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, we we talked about the new man. Yeah. And the things that are that should be the character of the new man. Yeah. You know, when you have said that I've accepted Christ into my life. And there's a a metamorphosis that has transpired. There has been a a change. That's right. Amen. There's been a change, and so when you say that you have changed, there should be elements of that change in your life. Now, change does not mean that you know that everything that I once did goes away overnight. That's right. Because I've, you know, I've got accepted Christ into my life and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a new creature. That's right. And so, uh, you know, those old things, you know, they just, you know, they, they don't go away overnight. That's right. And people are so judgmental that it's almost as if they sit and wait <laughs> for you to mess up so that they can say, I thought you changed. I, I thought Right. I thought you changed. I, yeah. uh, or you said you were a, a, a man or a woman of God. Hey, how's it going, D? Come, come on. Come Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. Amen. And so th enough. there should be a change that is evident in our lives. Mm -hmm. And when there is a change, mm -hmm. people should see that change. That's right. It, it should, your change should not be hidden. Amen. That's right. Christ tells us about the light yeah. under a bush. You, you don't like it. Yeah, you, you, don't hide. you, you yeah. want people to know that, hey, 
You know, it's like when you get a, a new car. You had the same car, you know, 10, 15 <laughs> years. You get a new car, you want to see that you done got it upgraded, that there's new and improved. Amen? Amen. And so that's what they need to see, that this is a new and improved Person. Donnell Davis. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is a new and improved uh, uh, Deacon Smith. It, it's, it's a change. <laughs> Amen. Amen. There's a change that yeah. should take place. And so with that, that, that change, it, it, there's, some, there's some things that we have to do ourselves. You know, we, we spend a lot of time looking for God to do it, but it's a, when you're in a relationship, it's called a partnership. That's right. And there's some things that you need to do. Yes. Like, you know what? When I could speak out, I need to say, be quiet. I, I don't need to say nothing. Because yeah. God, you know, the, the old Donnell would have been, rah, 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 rah. and so then, is, is there a change? Amen. Amen. So, uh, uh, Paul is letting us know about the changes uh, in which should, should, that should be accompanied with each saint of God. The things that he outlined, uh, they're not, they're not easy. I would say that each and every one of us has some flaws. That's right. Amen? It has some flaws. And so uh, Paul talks about these things and, and addresses them so that we as the believer, so that we can have that foundation. Because the foundation is required. In order to build any edifice, you have to start with a foundation. And that's what Paul wants us to understand. You know, build on your foundation. Mm -hmm. Or here are building blocks to, for the perfecting of the saints. That's right. Amen? Amen. So we're going to start with uh, verse 13 is where we left off at. And it says, forbearing one another and forgiving one another, if any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. Now, if we had not seen any miracle that Christ performed, uh, we could say that he was not ordinary. That he was, he was different. Mm -hmm. We could go as far as saying that he was special. Amen? Amen. And the reason why I try to bring that into context is because when he was hanging there, what was his words? Forgive them, Father, but they for know they know not, not what, they what they do. <laughs> and that was that alone lets me know that he's special. That was powerful. Because Dick, you ain't finna hit me. No, sir. You know, I, the one time, I'm like, mm, two, three, four times. No, sir. And, and you sure ain't finna put a whip on me. And especially you got that power. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And so, you know, he didn't, he did the very opposite. The greatest miracle that Christ performed was that he did not come down off the cross. Yeah. Because he could have easily mm -hmm. said, you know what? Uh-uh. Like he did in the synagogues when they uh, uh, turn the tables. Start, yeah, turn the tables. Start whipping. Yeah. He could have easily done that. Mm -hmm. And so here it is, we see him exhibit the things that he's requiring of us. Oh, I ain't gonna take that what they said to me. I ain't gonna take that what cause that, that's what we do. Quick fast and then Amen. We we act out. And so we can see that Christ was was different, he was special. And by all accounts and all means, he was the chosen one. Yes. Amen? Without a shadow of a doubt. When God chooses us, it, the, the, the task that he assigns to our hands is, well, it, only you can do that task because he signed it your hand. That's right. That's he right. knew that Jesus was the only one. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Did you feel me? I hate you. <laughs> that, I'll tell you. That he was the only one <laughs> that could sustain. That's right. The only one. Right. Amen. And so he tells us about forgiving. Now, Christ never tells us to do something that he has not done or experienced himself. Never. In the military, we call that leading by example. Yeah. Exactly what he did. He led by example, and 
He says, now he says forbearing. Now, what, somebody tell me what, what forbearance means. I mean, in, in your words, somebody tell me what forbearing means. Dealing, I would say dealing with the situation at hand. Okay. No? Um, just bearing with one another. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the plain putting up with your mess. <laughs> Amen? <laughs> Let's be real with it. Put that, when I could say something, I don't. I don't. I, 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 I'm looking at this situation and knowing that I probably should be pulling my hair out yeah. or saying something, but I don't. And that takes a lot. Every one of, every one of us sitting here today have what I call a a tolerance level. Mm. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. You know, and it's it's different on certain things. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm tolerated on this, but you're not listening to me, I'm not tolerant on. I mean, you know, yeah. zero to sixty <laughs> in three seconds. You know, boys will tell you, we're at Hemini Hall all the time and I tell them to do something, and they don't mean they did it. <laughs> Amen. That level. Amen, because we all have that tolerance level. Never, and so yeah. God wants us, we, we have to, because we're all unique and different, we got to work, we got to coexist. And this is something when we, we start to reach spiritual maturity, that leader moves a little bit. It does. <laughs> you know, it does. You need to maybe way down here when you're spiritual immature, if you will, but as you mature, it seems like Amen. Moves, moves over a little more. You know, you know Paul tells us about the, the, the pulling off and putting on and if there was not a maturity meter there would be no need to pull off you could just maintain the same yeah, that's right. and so what he's letting you know that there there are uh, uh, there should be a gradual change that's amen right. Right. what God is looking for us he's not looking for us to be perfect but he's looking for the perpetual change motion he's that's right he, that's what he wants to see Stay you know right. nothing upsets me worse than a person says that my, my, my brother's a classic example i'm trying you've been at the same thing for 50 <laughs> years you not trying <laughs> amen because at some point you will get it that's right that's at right. some point mm -hmm. at some point <laughs> you you will get it it's like a a take into account let's say a, a hardened criminal as they get older and you look in the in the judicial system mm -hmm. as they get older and and, and and wax cold in it yeah amen yeah they're they're a different animal they're uh -huh. not the same line when they went in okay amen yeah. and Mellow. you put 25 years on them Mellow. but right they're not Mellow. the same line yeah. Yeah. they've had not only time to think about their decisions but they had time to understand the ramifications of their actions. Okay, that's right. Amen? Amen. The ramification of their actions. And with us, we got to understand that there are ramifications to our actions with God. Amen? Amen. God's, his, his natural reaction to a, a sin is wrath. Period. Zero to 60, like that. Amen? Zero to 60. And so, having to, to work and coexist in an environment. You know, when we look at, we look at different churches that be online or mm -hmm. on TV, mm -hmm. and some of them are just spewing hate. Yeah, yeah. Which is total, in total contrast to what the scripture teaches. says. Yeah, yeah. I, I, well, hold on now, you, God said you, you ought to forbear me and I'm to forbear you. So then, why aren't you doing this exact thing that you're saying? And now, it's not so much that I'm, I'm terribly concerned with those in the congregation. I'm concerned with the ones who are delivering the message so who, whose meter should be farther this way than it is that way. Amen. Amen? Amen. Go ahead, Dean. Two, two, two comments on that, Pam, Pastor. One, James 301 says, teachers are helpful to speak to judge. That means, you know, you're, you're graded more than you're, and, and you're responsible for what you say and what you do because you should know better. Amen. And, and then, even Paul himself, 
when he started out, he was probably a little more rigid, if you will, because yes. with John Mark, we were on the on missionary journey with Barnabas. He told him he left me, so you know, right. that's right. You know, <laughs> you, you're not part of this because you left. But later on, he said, "Well, send John Mark to help me toward the end, so he can come and help minister to me." So he had along the way, he had forgiven and had softened his hand a little bit and matured. Amen. And, and and the forbearing the dictionary, and you said it. A person patient, restrained, he proved, he proved to be remarkable forbearing. Whatever, I was impatient or angry. Amen. Like you say, putting up what you meant. Amen. <laughs> Put up with it. Amen. So, I mean, if, if you just want to get down to the lowest common Put denominator, down to the street, is putting up what you meant. <laughs> Amen. And so, you know, Christ lets us know that he's a patient God. Yes. But he does have a limit. He Nowhere in scripture does it where it says he's patientless. It don't say that. He said that he is patient. Yes. Amen. They don't say that you know that his patience endure forever and ever. <laughs> there is a point to where now that you're not, you're not, you have the new man, but you're not reflective of the new man. Mm -hmm. the, the character of the new man is not persistent, and therefore God's patience begins to wane. But even in his patience starts to wane, he yet shows us mercy. Yes, yes. Amen? He yet shows us mercy. And so it lets us know that even though my patience has waned, I still need to show mercy. Amen? Well, we know if we uh, do wrong, and we know his patience is uh, at last, but uh, his wrath is... Amen. Ask Moses. I mean, you know what they told him to strike the rock? Yeah. He decided he's going to do his thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so okay. I got you. Can't make it to the promised land. Amen. And he was the guy that he brought up to lead the, the people out of Egypt. Amen. Then, you know, people always say Moses did it, but we know, you know, God was the one. That's right. But Moses was the man that he put forward to do it. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So that forgiveness is is something that we have to exhibit. Think think about this. Christ forgives us for the sins that got him on the cross. Isn't that so? Yeah. He, it's not it's, his sins. What he, he no sins at all. Donnell sins. Uh, before I mean, before oh. I was even here. <laughs> yeah. Donnell sins. So you know he's gonna admit it, but you know. Amen. I remember my pastor used to always say, say, you don't have to teach a baby to do wrong. No. You don't have to train them to do wrong. No, you don't. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> he was born into the sin, sin and the shaped in and iniquity. And iniquity. Yeah. You, you ain't, so you ain't you got to do Train them to do right. That's right. And, and we do that. You got to say ta-ta, say ta-ta. <laughs> say, say thank you, say yeah. thank you. That's right. That's and those right. are good things. Yeah, yeah. We have to teach them teach that. Them. And it in them. Amen. Right. Amen. It says, and above all these, put on charity, love, mm -hmm. which is the bond of perfect, perfectness. The bond. Mm. Rubber and glue. That's Amen. Right. That holds it together. 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 Amen. Yeah. It holds it together. It says, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts to be which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Yeah. See, when you have the, the peace, your, your, your love, your kindness, your mercy is never in jeopardy. Mm -hmm. Because when you have that peace, the scripture says that it surpasses all understanding. You, you can't comprehend it. You know I should be jumping up and down. But yet, I'm displaying the mercy, the kindness that is required of me. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Did you laugh? Amen. I was, saying, because I was thinking back to what you said. Uh, if there's a change, it should be seen. Absolutely. You can't uh, uh, light a candle and hide it on a bush. No, man. 
and I'm people sorry. and people notice that. Amen. But about back to the restraining, you see, also said somebody says something wrong to you, you got to bite your tongue. Now, nah, you know, just hold your peace. Who because it's not all the time good to just to vent your or what you think upon that. Just Amen. let it simmer. Because if you go directly to the source right then, <laughs> it Amen. ain't too good. So I, I want I want to tell you this if that brings all of those 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 virtues together. Mm -hmm. What does love do? It hides a multitude. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, it hides yeah. it. And so when that love is there, yeah. you know, you ever seen that 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 child that can't do no wrong and that that mama can see that child doing wrong. I know my child didn't do that. I know <laughs> not, my child didn't. Not mine. It, it, it's, <laughs> Love, yeah. not, not willing to hear it. My yeah. mom always would tell, tell uh, my grandmother would tell my mother, uh, my brother that I speak of all the time, and she would tell her that you don't want to be the only one that loves your child. Mm. You don't want to be the not because the only one. you you you'll be gone. Yeah, and then if you're the only one, Who else what I mean, what, what do they have? Yeah. And so you don't want it, your your love to be so blind that you lose focus and you're willing to accept or turn the blind eye to what they're doing. I think very very good point, Pastor. I was telling my wife as we was, you know when I, my, my boys were young that you know I love although I'm a I'm a man and you know, these are males. It may not look like I got the same kind of love that you have. I love them just as much. Yeah, right. right. I That's just right. love them in a different way. That's because right. Because your nurturing may be one thing. Yeah. My wrath may be something else. <laughs> right. But that doesn't mean I don't love them any less. That's Absolutely. Right. That's and right. And so sometimes to understand that, and, and for her, she had to learn that too, that my wrath sometimes is not to be mean or anything like that. It's trying to train the way and she should go. should go. That's right. Because That's right. sometimes, and, 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 and children, they need both. Right. You know, they need the nurture. They do. And and but but I was trying to share with her though. Now there's times you need to kind of move out the way and, and let me come on in and, and deal That's right. with the rap. And with love too, you know. Right, right, right. Put that hand down. That's right. Put that hand down. Yeah, yeah. You got you got to lay it, you know, because if you don't, <laughs> yeah. then somebody else would just yes, what, right. what does God say? I, I chastise whom I love. Yeah, that's right. So his his chastisement is love. It's love. Mm -hmm. You may not think it, it may not feel like it, but it's love. When I spank my boys, they might go upstairs and say, you know what, that big head fellow, man, mm, mm, not realizing that daddy's downstairs saying, suffering, man. Yeah, right, that I that I had to do that. that yeah, yeah. The, the one that, I'm the one you look up to. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And here it is, I'm the one that's now making you cry. Mm -hmm. That's that's pain. inflicting pain on you. But you rather do it. Absolutely. Have, that's right. Absolutely. Uh, those uh, those other people, and you know, who I'm right. absolutely about to do it. Absolutely. Or they don't have no pity on you. That's right. You know, just because you chastise your child does not mean that you don't like you, you, you love them. And yeah. when I would spank them, I would call them back down after things have chilled out and say, "Look, man, yeah, you know, daddy, it. daddy love you. That's right. You know, ain't, ain't nothing changed. But you got to do Indeed. what I tell you to do." Exactly. What, don't be doing this and don't be doing that. It's it's it's, it's not that I'm you know uh, uh, the evil tyrant, mm -hmm. but I, I'm I'm going to give you something that will give you staying power down the road. Down the road, there you go. My, my youngest nut right here, boy, he take advantage. Of you. Yeah. <laughs> I do so. The easy one got he had to jack up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And not show any, you know. Uh -huh. Cause next, cause what he do is come back uh -huh. real quick. We cause. I was teaching Sunday school at the other church. And what happened was he decided one Sunday that he's going to jump up and he wanted to get big. You know, he's like 15, 16 year old range, you know. Yeah, say it loud again. 15, 16 year old range. You know? <laughs> Listen to his story. <laughs> Listen to his story. He's he trying to get a little hair on his chest. Right. And uh, so I said, son, I'm running a little late. You know, I'm you know, running a little late. So I got to go. Well, next Sunday he tried it again, but two weeks ago. And I said, okay. I said, well, man, go ahead and just get ready to call 911. <laughs> Antoine, go and run the room because I'm getting ready to jack him up. Because I had to jack him up. But once I've done that, no problem. 
because he was the type that he would think that you're, you know, you're putty. Yeah, right, right. And right. You know, different ones, you know, yeah. some, you do, and they're cool. Mm -hmm. He was the one you had to, uh -huh. you know, and because we know our, our children are different. One may be right. one way, and another yeah. one be right. Yeah. Another no personality. That's yeah, right. personality That's right. is different. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, Sorry, fellas, I'm not saying that so your dad can, can jack you up, okay? Yeah, but I will. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And so, so and look, uh, and look absolutely. And look. Absolutely. You know, have you ever been going through something and asked the Lord, well, why are you doing this to me? And not understanding that everything that he does is because he loves us. He he what he's doing now is to prevent something further down the road, down the road. that he already knows that was down there waiting for you mm -hmm. that you didn't. You, you you're totally oblivious to it. Oblivious to it. Have you ever been in a situation where? And I know that I I, I have some some gentlemen that I used to hang out with, you know, back when I was a, a young man. And uh, the one time that I decided to go to the club was the one time that. Somebody got hurt bad. That thing jumped off. And you're thinking, man, if I had a, just been there, that that could have been me. Or different ones who, you know, uh, they they went out that night expecting to have a good time, and the next thing you know, some clown in there shooting, and they in the wrong place, and they're, and they're and they're shot. And you're thinking, you know, all that you can hear about this person, they was great, and he was a a great dad and they had two kids and, and you think yeah, yeah. you know it, it's, it's, it, it was a waste yeah. amen? amen it was a waste so God is he's yet drawing us he doesn't drop the full weight of his authority on us because he, he, he doesn't want it to be to where you know if you spank a child every time and everything that they do yeah. Lord have mercy yeah. You're 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 provoking them. That's yeah, right. yeah. That's what you're doing. You're provoking yeah. them, and, and God doesn't want wants that. Mm -hmm. He wants you to, to come free of free free of your choice. But he, he wants you to know that, you know, in in the process, there's going to be some things that's going to transpire. It doesn't mean that I love you. In fact, it means that I love you, mm -hmm. and I just need you to, to 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 forbear. I need you to to understand. I need you to to realize that. Every plateau that God has taken me, I'm leaving something behind. That's right. I'm, I'm taking this off. Well, I climb another plateau. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm no longer smoking. I'm taking this off. I'm That's leaving right. that there behind. Uh, every time God takes me higher and higher, mm -hmm. I'm leaving something in behind. Sometimes it's friends. Mm -hmm. Yep. Amen. Amen. I left a lot. Yeah. I, hey, if yeah. I was on Facebook, I had, I had a fan base. You got to do. It. And I had to leave friends behind. People who was in the thick and thin with me when things went down. Mm -hmm. And I had to say, look, you know, hey, I hope that you would, you know, see what I'm doing mm -hmm. and not ridicule me. Yeah. But say, you know, hey, man, you know, good job. My cousin, the one I used to hang out when I go home, female, mm -hmm. wilding out. Mm -hmm. Still wilding out, yeah. And she would always say, "Hey, hey cuz, I ain't mad with you. <laughs> I'm, I'm not mad with you. I, you know, I, I'm glad at what you're doing. Yeah. I'm just not ready to come out the streets yet. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. Hey, I, I got it. Mm -hmm. and, and what's important is that she recognizes that in order for her to change, she, she got to come up out the streets. Leave it alone. Yeah. Hey, Amen. So we tend to leave loved ones, marriages. These things we leave behind as God begins to, to elevate us. Yeah. Not everybody's going with us where God has taken us. That's right. Not everybody. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's, that's like people who, if you see them, they become millionaires or they become famous mm -hmm. and they want to bring all <laughs> their friends along. Yeah, yeah. And then they realize that they don't have enough to go around. And so now you've got your friend comfortable to a lifestyle or yeah. a, a, or a, a, a a a sense of being and now you're gonna take that from them and what yeah, first thing they gonna say is you acting funny. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then this is when you turn on the TV and you find out that something that they did, this one's mad with them. Mm -hmm. So now they telling it. Yeah. yeah. Amen. 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 I, mm -hmm. I submit to you that those who sin with you will sin against you. Yes sir. 
every time. Those yes, who sin with you will sin against you. Yes, sir. Amen. And so uh, 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 them moving forward. So God expects some some uh, some. Uh, he has an expectation of us as well. Amen. He has his expectation of us as well. It says, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts. That peace, I tell you, when they say the peace that's past all understanding, mm -hmm. I didn't been there. I didn't been there. Well, you, knowing who you are, you just calm. <laughs> you know, you, you're reserved. Yeah, yeah. You know, and folk probably like, oh, oh here you go. He finna, you know, he finna pop off. And you don't do what, what they, man expected you yeah. to do. Mm -hmm. You didn't do it. So that peace is an important. And that peace that's past all understanding, there's only one place to get it from. There's only one manufacturer of it. And that's God. That's right. That is the only way you can receive that type. Your friends can't give you, you know what, you're gonna be, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be a uh uh that that that's temporal. That's temporal. It's that the peace that I'm referring to is when you're at home alone and when you should have been crying, you're praising God. That's right. When you should have been, you know, saying, you know what, I just, I can't live like, I can't live this life no more. And yet you just, like it, it didn't happen. And it doesn't mean that you don't care and it doesn't mean that it, it, it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. It just means that you're in a different place. That's right. Amen? Amen. Paul showed us that he was in prison physically, mm -hmm. but not mentally. Amen? Amen? Mentally. That's why we need that helmet on. <laughs> because without that helmet, yeah. Satan, the first place he's, he's going to attack mm -hmm. is that head. Mm -hmm. Because it, it's, it's well known that if you kill the head, right. <laughs> the rest going to follow. Don't have to go. Kill the head. When you see different things, uh, 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 they, the first thing they want to take out is what they call the brain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The person who's in charge. Mm -hmm. And then when that happens, then the whole plan or the whole scheme falls apart. And now everything's in disarray. That's what Satan wants to do. He wants to get in that head so that he can make everything disarray. You don't know if you're coming or if you're going. But once you have that peace that surpasses all understanding given by God, you mess and Satan up. Because... He's expecting you to act out of character, mm -hmm. but you don't. Amen? Amen? But you don't. Amen. And, and, and lastly, the, to the to 15, the sentence that I, I that I think that we should grasp is that, and be ye thankful. Mm. Be ye thankful. Mm. To acknowledge God in all things. That's that's the good, that's the bad, that's the death in the family, that's the heartache, that's the breakup, that's I don't agree with what you said or what you did. That's to be thankful. Acknowledge God in all things. And when you have that peace, mm -hmm. you can see the silver lining. You can acknowledge him. You know what, Lord? I, I appreciate you because of what you brought me through. Mm -hmm. It made me have a closer relationship with you. That's, right. That's what God wants from us. He doesn't want a, a, a superficial relationship. Mm -hmm. He wants a true relationship with you. He don't want something that is is a is is temporal or it's the relationship is based off of passion. Mm -hmm. He wants that relationship to be based based off of truth. Amen. Amen. He, that's what he wants it based off of truth he wants it based off of no matter what I got you yeah you, you didn't do like I told you mm -hmm. but yet I got you because right. all things work to the good of God for those that love him who are called according to his purpose mm -hmm. amen? amen and in order to get to that purpose that God has for us we got to endure some things we, we got to. That's the, the, the purpose ain't just dropped in your lap. <laughs> if, 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 I just, if, if, if I just drop a purpose in your lap, what appreciation do you have for it? None. 
You don't have no appreciation for it because it was something that was given to you, like it's a car. I, I, my nephew gave him a car. Don't you know I ain't heard from that joker <laughs> since I gave him that car? <laughs> I said, Lord have mercy. But, but the, you know, the, the fruit don't fall too far from the tree. So I, I, I should have expected that. Yeah, yeah. Old Uncle D would be like, come here, let me tell you something. Mm -mm. I seen him while I was home. I, hey. And I know I messed his head up like, man, that's Uncle D. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, no. That, 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 he, that messed his head up. Oh, he was looking for something else. He was looking for the old Uncle D finna yeah. jack you up. Yeah, yeah, looking for that. Yeah, and I'm thinking, wow. But I'm I'm not upset. Yeah. Because when you're doing the will of God, that's all that you can do. Yes. Is to be accountable for the will that God has placed in you for you to do. Mm -hmm. God said, "Give." To, I told uh, the wife, I put it on Facebook. And people say, hey, man, I want to come by. They was coming by looking at it, and I I only wanted uh, 1500 for it. Mm -hmm. And I, I probably would have took 1000 I just, <laughs> I, I, I wasn't driving it. I, I had too many cars in the yard as it is. Okay. And so I, I heard the Spirit of the Lord said, give it to your nephew. And he was in church, uh -huh. and he was talking about how, you know, he got a job, and he's doing better, and he ain't, he ain't got a way around, and this, that, and the other. What I don't want you to do, mm -hmm. what God don't want you to do, is have an excuse as to why you couldn't serve him. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So God bless you. God used me mm -hmm. to bless you so that you could not have an excuse. Now, is that vehicle ever parked at the church? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, God God hears you and he, he tries you, but more importantly, he already knows what it is that yeah. you're going to do. Yeah, yeah. No it, ain't, it ain't no... God set up there going, oh my God. <laughs> and no surprise. Right. No surprise. He, he knew. He All knew. Knowing. All knowing. Amen. It says, uh, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. Mm. Now, well, if we if we look back in, I believe it's Exodus, where it talks about the tabernacle, and tabernacle means to dwell, mm -hmm. and that's what we want. We want God to dwell in us. Amen. Amen. We want God to dwell in. Once we've accepted God in our our our, 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 our in, into our lives, mm -hmm. you know, people can say, you know, well, you know. That they're they're possessed. That there's no way that someone that has God's spirit in them can be possessed. Mm -hmm. Oh, you might can be oppressed. All right, but Scripture tells us in the midst of light, mm -hmm. darkness Must has be. to flee. Go. So you can't occupy what is God's. That's right. Yeah, yeah, it's still mine. Yeah. While I was out in the world, yet I was still God's. I, I often say that. Uh. uh Satan was borrowing me. <laughs> Amen? Because I was God from the beginning, from eternity. Okay. Amen? Amen. And so, he, he, you know, you can't say that a, a man or woman of God feel what God's spirit is possessed. Yeah. Yeah. The, go ahead. And it was a Sunday school lesson we taught one time that I'm being God possessed. I'm, I'm with you 100%. But we, I'm, excuse me, possessed by, uh, by Satan. Because, you know, we, we influence. There is a difference. Being possessed and being influenced. That's right. Being always being, that's why you submit to God, the devil should flee. Right. Because through that submission, he, he's gone. Right. But the influence, and even with Peter, right? Remember Peter said, you know, you're not going to wash my, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to let you wash my feet. Right. And, and what Jesus said, he said, Satan what? <laughs> he hit me behind me. Yeah, yeah. So the, the influence comes, and even he, he walked with God in that. And so that, that that's something about we being, put on that yoke, put on that full armor. Protect from, from the, all that influence and being with that word, the sword, to know that we can we can attack too. Amen. You know, and, um, and and just real quick, I'm just this is my favorite scripture. You just I mean, um, Colossians three sixteen when it comes to praising the Lord. Mm -hmm. This is one of my in the New Testament mm -hmm. because we talking about the Psalms, 
hymn, and spiritual songs for those beginning. Like on Sunday, I, I guess uh, I take it up uh, as an obligation to put the words up when we sing so everybody can be on that one accord mm -hmm. and pray. Because you don't know the words, you look up and everybody's singing together. Everybody's together on that one one accord praising the Lord. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? Because when we're in heaven, we're going to be on one accord Amen. praising the Lord, singing to him then. Just, Amen. We're just practicing Amen. for eternity, right? Amen. And so this is one of my now, I'm glad you, we, we hit this, but this is one of my favorite Colossians 3 and 16 by singing and hymns, and we sing it together, praising the Lord. It's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Everybody's together. Amen. On, on, on that praising the Lord. Awesome. Amen. Well, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry amen. No problem. When we allow God to dwell in us, then our, our decision making should be different. Mm -hmm. Our character should be different. Our actions should be different because he, he's given you the blueprint. He's, he's told you about the virtues, the kindness, the love. These things are, should be indicative of the saint. You know, I have a, a particular church, a mega church in Texas, and there was a, a hurricane. And he would not let the people come to obtain sanctuary while the storm was going on. And I was like, well, hold on, man, of God. I, I, I mean, don't, don't you preach these things? I mean, I, at some point, I, through your uh, uh, ministry, I know you, you preach this. Mm -hmm. You've talked about this. Mm -hmm. Is it not applicable to you as well? Because the word should always be first mm -hmm. to me, for me to search myself in it. Mm -hmm. And and then let them, and, and I, what, what blows my mind is that that the people that you would have let in, as the scripture says, pre-adventure one. If he let a thousand people in and he was able to get one life turned around. That's right. One life. One life. Mm -hmm. He he could have brought someone close. It might have been somebody that said, "You know what? This this is the moment. This is the time. This is I, now. I know that I needed to serve the Lord. Could you? Can we do a baptism? Huh? Mm -hmm. Or 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 you know what? Y'all come on in. What did he tell Peter? Say, loveth thou me? Mm -hmm. Feed my sheep. Mm -hmm. Loveth thou me? Feed my sheep." Mm -hmm. Pastor, why are you not feeding his sheep? It, it was a, a burden to him, and he didn't want. When the leader got involved, then he did. Right, like our man in the Bible who who uh, buried them treasures. Yeah. And it, it was, uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, only time after he got caught, yeah. he want to come forward. Yeah. And it should never be like be that. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. that right there, that is an opportunity. Yeah. To show not only God using you, but to demonstrate your humanity. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Nobody should have to tell, have to tell them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The door swung wide open. Man, mm -hmm. you ain't criticized by me. Yeah. Yeah. It should. Mm -hmm. I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have to call you out to get you to do right. That's right. That's right. You got His Spirit that's that'll right. do it. You know. That's right. That's I, I just refuse to believe He sat there and slept in His nice, comfy bed, and God didn't say, "Get up and move for these people." Mm -hmm. I, I just I just don't believe it. Mm -hmm. In the scripture, God always rewarded faith. Whether or not they believe be, whether or not they were saved or not, he honored faith. Mm -hmm. That's right, because the, the sister with the issue. Yeah. What he told him? Your, your faith. Your faith, daughter. Yeah. Your faith has made you. Mm -hmm. it, it wasn't like it had no room in the end. Just didn't have to go to the main. Yeah, right? amen. Yeah, yeah. Just just for them to believe. That's How right. many of us been in a, been in a, in, a, in a, a point in our life where we knew God, but God wasn't the focal point. But yet and still, when we got in a bind, Lord, you you help me, Lord, Lord. 
it was your faith. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. God could have turned to death and said, you know what? Mm -mm. But he's, he's always trying to draw us. He's always trying to draw us. He, he will not make it to where, Dick, you say, well, you know what? I would have served you, Lord, but, you know, I didn't get the chance. <laughs> Amen? Said, Just think said, about this. Yeah. How many people that he did not let in and went away and said, there is no God? Mm -hmm. How is this man right here say he's a man, a of, man God of God and yeah. see that we need help? There is no God. That's right. He's responsible for that. That's right. God holds him accountable. That's right. Spirit of judgment. Yes. That's right. He holds him accountable for that. That's right. Amen. So, Amen. you know, we want God to dwell in us. And we want to ex exhibit, exude those attributes that, that he did. Yeah. Amen. Will we always get it right? No. 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 We, 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 we not. But when we don't get it right, if we practice those things that he outlined, those virtues, the kindness, we can go back and we can fix it. Mm -hmm. We can make it right. You know, the ironic part about, about that is sanctuary means safe place. Mm -hmm. Amen. You mm -hmm. can invite a man to the, to the safe place. Yeah. Into that thing. Yeah. So the whole building is considered to be and, part of the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. and, how, and like you say, you don't know how many people you taught could have touched. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, at that particular time, just by letting open the door. Yes. How many lives he could have saved? Could've Somebody saved. who who didn't get it, you didn't let them in, and they go out, and then they perish. Yeah, yeah. God holding you accountable. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you know, the building served another purpose. It helped 10,000 people. Mm. And yes. His purpose before they, 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 they bought that building, it helped 10,000 people. Right. And, and it's sad that if they had been bringing offerings. <laughs> oh. 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 Mm. He would have opened it. Open yeah, he'd have had that. He would have opened it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's let's be real about it now. That's true. That's the truth. God didn't God didn't put the purpose or, or the purpose for the pastor to get rich. If anybody thinking that that's the, the, the deal for them to get rich, mm -mm. you got to go with it wrong. That's no, the wrong thing. no. What does it tell us about the eye of the of the needle? Yeah. <laughs> uh uh, it ain't gonna fit. Amen. That's right. Says and whosoever ye do in what in word or deed do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. You know, I, I like that because when I look back, when I could have acted out of character, Amen. I, I give thanks to, to to the Lord. That's right. Amen. Because it could have exacerbated the situation That's and right. made it worse. Yeah. And so I thank God that, you know, Lord, I, Lord, I, I, I thank you. I, I, I thank you because, you know, when we, when, we, when we can look back and take inventory, I'm sure that we all have an instance where we can truly say, but God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Nobody but God. It's, it's the only but God. Without a shadow of a doubt. Not saying, you know what, you know, man, they, you know, I knew somebody and they, hook me up. Mm -mm. It's a point to where we can see and say, you know what? The only way I came out, it was God. God. It was God. It was God. It was the yeah. only way that I came out. And so that we do it all in, in his name. You know, man has this, this the, 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 the proclivity to want to always take credit for what God does. You know? Uh, you know, you the reason uh, I, you I, uh, you saved because you, you met me. No. <laughs> I'm saved by grace. By grace. <laughs> not, not because you didn't have anything to do with it. Now, you might have planted the seed, but it was me that had to give the increase. There you go. I, I have to get, you can tell me, hey, 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 D, you need to believe that God is, is going to do it for you. Yeah, yeah. That's me believing. Yeah. Nah. Me telling you that on my faith. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, D got to do it on on, on his own, on his own. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What Dick believes, yeah. as as to do it. Dick, you was going to say something. Well, no, I had just a quick comment. I can interrupt, interrupt you. Just uh, some when you look at a sport event and they interview this guy who had a great game, whatever. Mm -hmm. and, and you always appreciate when the sports what's the first thing you say. I give uh, the glory to God. God. You, right, Amen. You, you always go to say, man, okay, that guy's giving God Correct. glory first, and then he talks about his stats or whatever. Yeah, but but. And, and and God just don't 
bless the good people. Like I said, it rained on the, the just and the unjust. Now, I've I, I been in some situation where I was totally wrong, mm -hmm. surrounded, and God brought me out. Amen. And it, it's the only one. Grace. You know what I'm saying? Amen. And I wouldn't, and I, this is my thought, I wasn't deserving of that because I know I was wrong. But he brought me out of it. And I was, and then when you look back, you know it was the power of God. Nothing but the power mm -hmm. of God. That's right. Do, totally. That's right. Do we, do we forgive with, with stipulation? Additional, additional <laughs> yeah. We, 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 we yeah. can. You know, yeah. as long as you promise me you won't do it again. Again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That right there is not gonna work. That's a one legged Yeah, because you don't that's right. Right, because you, you just to put a stipulation is you just forgive, period. Yeah. Yeah. There's no what if God did that? You know, stipulation on us. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I, I forgive you. But, but, but the scripture says, in order for me to be forgiven, I have to forgive. That's right. Jesus himself. Amen. And I didn't read anywhere. Maybe somebody got a new, unabridged version where it says, that, but, 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 but wait. Yeah. That's a stipulation. No. And when he forgives us, he already knows whether or not. We're going to do it again. <laughs> I must have been there. Lord, if you get me out this oh, time. Man. Yeah. And then in the next hour. Right. right, right, back. right. Next hour. <laughs> and you didn't even turn the color good. Back in trouble. Right back in that situation. Back in trouble. Mm -hmm. And as if we're making a promise to God then that we're, we're going to keep. Yeah. And knowing. And we know it all the time. Right. <laughs> Thinking that we're going we're gonna, to. We're gonna, and we convince ourselves. Lord, if you help me, Lord, I promise. Lord, Lord I promise. If, if you get me out of this. <laughs> right. If you just, just, just get time here. Hey, Amen. Making this one ourselves, you know, buffing ourselves up to believe that, you know, Lord, I'm going to. And no sooner you get around the corner, soon you get out the door. You back at it. And isn't that something as we mature, we hope that that happens less and less, less to the point it doesn't happen yeah. at all. Yeah. yeah. So then because the maturity is, it's, it's so, it's, isn't maturity so important? Amen. Amen. It is. Peter would say, I've, I've been in church forever. <laughs> right? I mean, by that, I'm, I'm, I'm 80 years old, and I've been in church since I was six years old. But uh, the maturity, you know, is still at that six year old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So, you know, forgiveness, and, and I've, I've, I've given this, this, this sermon before about, you know, people tend to think that. Forgiveness and forgetting are tied together. No, we we want to hope that God, you know, gives us that peace to where it's never a thought. Mm -hmm. That's what we want, Amen. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that you're going to forget. The mind, the mind does not is. function like that. It's, <laughs> you know, it's you know, it, these these are lenses, yeah, and they take the, pictures oh, and right. record it. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's not like, you know what, I can't see it. I ain't see that. I ain't see that. I ain't see that. I ain't see that. No, it good and too well. Amen. You didn't saw it. it did, you, you can't unsee it. You can't unsee it. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question over there? Mm -hmm. when, when you say, well, I'm a handler here with a long handle spoon, uh -huh. is, is that the same as... I'm just, I, I mean, this is no, a, no, because no, okay, and, and the reason why I'm going to say that the scripture tells us to be gentle as a dove, but wise as a servant. Okay, yeah. If I know that you are a thief, yes, sir. I'm not no, going to leave. Not my, you come to my house, I and I already know that. Yeah, hey, I'm not. I'm yeah. handling from long handle spoon. Yeah. Okay, yeah. hey, hey, put your, put your purse up. Go take it, put it in the room, yeah. and put it up under the bed. Mm -hmm. I, I'm I'm still letting you in my boat. I'm still ministering to you. I'm still yeah. Yeah. engaged yeah. with you. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not going. Take my eye that off trust, knowing man, that trust. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Amen. God, God does not. Cause you're foolish if you do. If you, like you say, if you, you know a person a thief, and you lie stuff around for that individual. Amen. Well, that's not just only a thief. That's a liar. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's I'm all that thing. That as a Amen. And, yeah. and, and and some church folk that think that God called His people to be doormats. No. no. He no, did I, I, not. I asked the question. I totally agree with you. Amen. I just needed another. Explanation, Amen. So that when it, um, when I'm faced with that again, mm -hmm. you know, I got a brother. I got another, I got another angle, if you will. <laughs> because I mean, when you say when I say I'm a hand with a long hand spoon, mm -hmm. 
you're forgiven, but am I going to be vulnerable? No, no, no. Am no. I putting myself in a position for you to do it again? Uh, again? Um, so, you know, in Proverbs, you know, somebody being fools. Right. You know, at, at what point am I um, responsible? Mm. Because, you know, it, and sometimes it gets to a point you can be in, enabling folks to. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I, I say to that is that. If it changes the way that you treat them and you're not functioning in those virtues, kindness, mm -hmm. mercy, mm -hmm. then yeah, you are holding it against them. Mm -hmm. When you are operating outside that, mm -hmm. to, to, to be cautious, mm -hmm. there's yes, nothing, nothing wrong, wrong with, with being cautious. That's right. Yeah, that's what it is. Right. It's, it's cautious. Right. You know, I, I, I love you. My, my mama, I know that she loved my brother, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. she no. don't trust him no far and she could throw a 10 ton banana. Mm -hmm. And she can't even pick up one. Amen. I mean, let's let's, let's that's be real. The that's the truth. I understand that. It, you know, the, the 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 trust has been frayed so bad, and even though it has been frayed, it did not change the way that she loved him. That's right. That's the thing. It, love it, love. That, right. Amen. Oh, it didn't man. change that, but she is cautious. You know, her medicine. She hired him. Yeah. Because yeah. she know. She know. He'll take him and use him. She had forgiven him. Huh? Doesn't mean that she had not forgiven, right? Because what's it? Seven times seven? Seventy times. Seven. Well, not forgiven, but forgotten. You forgotten. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 No, I'm, I'm saying to you. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, so that, 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 she, that she, you know, you, you, you're not. There's some things in life you'll never be able to, to forget. Yeah. You, yeah. you just yeah. won't be able to do it. Mm -hmm. And it's not that it is a bad thing because sometimes what you experience draws you closer to God. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it gave you the anointing that you have. Amen? Because God, you looked at it in, in your mind in that time, there's no way I can overcome this. Mm -hmm. There's no way that, 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 that I, can, I, I can be delivered from this. Mm -hmm. And God shows you that nothing's too hard for God. That's what he shows you. Nothing too, yeah, I know you was in a bad place. Like uh, Job. He knew Job was in a bad place. Mm -hmm. Thinking about what all Job had lost, his family. Uh, son, his servants his church, his, yeah. and here it is he could have easily turned away mm -hmm. easily mm -hmm. he could have been so bitter that he said you know what I don't want this no more do it. amen but he yet stayed there and the scripture says I believe over in the fifth chapter it says that God gave him double Boy, for his trouble yeah. and double for his trouble wife, <laughs> <laughs> right here it is. You didn't seen the blessings of God. Yeah. And, and you want me to curse him? No. That, that's I, not I, just that. It's a curse if it's said die. Right, yeah. right, right, right. That's right. Put the coup de bras on there. Yeah. 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 And die. And die. And die. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, verse 18 says, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as it is fit in the Lord. Mm. Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah. So does that mean that because my husband is is out of the will of God that I'm supposed to go along with? Hmm? Baby, you let me use a different one. Hey Mary, uh come on, let's let's go grab the gun, we're gonna go rob the bank. Mm. Well, well, so, so you submit. Uh, she's supposed to submit and do that. Exactly. So there, there is is not, is not that it's is uh. What is it called when it's not not obsolete? Uh, I cannot think of the word right now. Mm -hmm. But but there are some, there are some parameters to that. That's right. Amen. Yeah. I, I'll show you an example, boys. Uh, Michael Anthony, Maria, come here for a minute. All right. So, just for the sake of this discussion, let's let Uncle this one. All right. Uh, Michael being Adam. All right. Anthony, I'm sorry. Michael being God. Uh -huh. Anthony being Adam. Maria being Eve. Uh -huh. Now, Anthony being. Adam is following who? God. God. And Maria, this is your husband. You're submitting to him. 
him and you are following Adam. Adam. Mm -hmm. This is where the problem lies, is that turn that way. Adam was following Eve. Eve. Yeah. God didn't turn around. God don't follow nobody. That's right. Amen. 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 He don't follow nobody. Amen. And that was the problem. It was it was wrong. Was was because should he have eaten because she told him to, or if it was the rose was verse and he told her to eat, mm -hmm. if it would have been wrong because it wasn't in God. It was Amen. Forbidden. As the scripture says, as it says, it, was forbidden. Uh, it is fit in the Lord. Mm. Yeah, that for another scenario. And Amen. With with um, Angela being representing God, and then Sister Maria turned that she could still be facing God, and he's he's turned away from God. He's not he's in the middle, but he's not following God. The man, the husband himself, uh -huh. he's not submitting to God. Right. And so, and I, you know, many situations where the wives a lot of times have brought their husbands to to the Lord. Because they was out, they were out there, right? And was, but but they were following and submitting to God, right? And you know, praying, praying. And the one, and, he, and the guy, he not he, he was ministering, does the same thing. Right. But his wife was praying because he was he was OT, definitely out mm -hmm. there. And and so that that situation too. But it, it, it can be so many. But the thing is, the submission Amen. To, to God. God mm -hmm. is either way mm -hmm. submission to God. Mm -hmm. Men, they, they get out of, and I'll be brief, Pastor. When they get out, when they try to take the scripture like this, mm -hmm. and they yeah. take an abuse, because you know Peter addresses it too, mm -hmm. about, about um, wives being submitted to their husbands, mm -hmm. and, and Ephesians, Paul did it again too. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, that's a lot of times they go, go to go to 1 Corinthians chapter 7, I mm -hmm. call it the marriage chapter. Mm -hmm. Every man, go read that together with your spouse, mm -hmm. and see some of the order. The right. order should be. There is an order. It's not for the, to have the wife be put down in submission where she's just you know, slave. Go, yeah, cook right. and clean and all yeah. that. You know, a slave to you know. Right. That's not the, the, the husband is out of order. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Not not her. The, and who's responsible? Not her. Mm -hmm. Just like you just just That's demonstrated. Right. Mm -hmm. He's responsible. That's right. So you treat your wife like she, the bride, like she. You treat the church, right? That's right. Yeah. And, and that's absolutely. The key. If, if you do that, then you're in order, and everything should fall in line. So, and, and I'm glad that you brought order into it because that matters. You know, the, the when, when submit comes from a, a, a it's a military, uh, a, 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 it comes from a military, Roman military term. And so we've said this in the military, I don't respect you, but I respect the rank. Yeah, that's right. And that's what we would have to understand is that, you know, she's fulfilling her duties based off of her respect for that order because here it says, because it's fit in the Lord, because of the order. We don't obey generals because they, they smart, because I met some, some privates who were sharper than me, you know? Yeah. But but it was because of my position, that order. Oh, that's the first sergeant. That's why he respected me. That's why he did what he did. And so, you know, there are, if you look, you see a lot of churches where the 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 wife has taken on things that push agendas that the husband, because they saying that, well, that's what I'm supposed to do. Not if they wrong. That's right. Not if they wrong. I, I don't care who you are. Uh, Maria, if I come to you and say, let's go rob a bank, you go the other way. <laughs> well, you call somebody and have me get admitted, because you know that ain't right. Because I'm not, I'm not going, to, don't you ask me to do it, because I ain't going to jail for you. I'd be like, uh, you sure you want to do that? Uh, Veterans Hotline. <laughs> I was calling Veterans Hotline to get you some help. Amen. 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 I was hoping that we got along uh, a little farther, uh, but I knew this was going to be a, a really great lesson, and it was going. We we're going to talk about some things that's near and dear. I, I was hoping that we would have. Uh, I would have gotten to uh, the, the 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 wife and uh, submitting. Uh, you know, yeah. uh, because. And not just for this crowd, but somebody else needs to hear this because mm -hmm. people are going straight with this right here, yeah. saying you gonna do it because 
No, that's not. Shit. She yeah. submits because she wants to, mm -hmm. not because you didn't force her. Yeah. I'm glad because my wife's not here tonight, and I want her to hear this part right now. Amen. So, so yeah, yeah, submit. Not, amen. Not, not because, not because you know, uh, you didn't say you're going to do what I tell you to do. Yeah. No, no. no. Oh, uh-uh. No, you don't, you, don't, you don't do that. That's not submission. That's slavery. Yeah. Exactly. You treat like you're treating the church. God already said you treat like you would treat the church. Amen. You treat, that's what that was when you treat Amen. Like you treat the church. So. Amen. 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 Beautiful lesson. I ask that uh, you know you all go ahead and finish up. Uh, pastor be here next. No, no, he won't. I'll, I'll, I'll be doing it uh, next week. You'll be here fourth Sunday, fifth, fifth Sunday, first Sunday. Mm -hmm. Amen. So uh, I appreciate everyone that came out. Uh, both virtual and in the building. We had a wonderful time in the Lord. Amen. Amen. That you bow your heads. Amen. Dear Father, Lord, we want to thank you today, Father, for, Lord, how you've come in and how you've supped with us, Father, and, Lord, how, you, how you've given us your word, Father, for us to, to take it in, Father, Lord, so that you may dwell within us, Lord. Yes. And, Lord, as we pull off more of the old man and put on more of the new man, Father, Lord, those things that are not like you, Father, may, Lord, may they be circumcised away from us, Father, Lord Jesus, and, Lord, and so that we can do your will, Father, even as you have intended for us, Lord. And, Lord, we understand, Lord, that all that we go through, Father, that it has a purpose in our life, Father, though we may not understand it, Father, but, Lord, we trust your will, Lord. Lord, that you keep us and guide us, Father. Lord, that you look upon the past, Lord, as he traveled in his own no road, Father. Lord, we ask that you, Lord, we ask that you be his pilot, Father, Lord, and guide him home safely. And, Lord, we just thank you. Yeah. Lord, look upon those who are sit in the shut-in at this moment, Father, Lord Jesus. And, Lord, heal them, Father. But, Lord, we know that if not, Lord, that you're still God, yes. Father. And, Lord, that there's nothing too hard for you. No. In your darling son, Jesus' name, we thank you and we praise you. Amen. 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 Thanks, Doc. What is it, finished?